welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup look is in collaboration with the beautiful Rose from the YouTube channel Whole Lot of Rosie. I'll leave the link to her channel in the description bar down below. And I'll also leave the link to her Valentine's Day, wait, I should say Valentine's Night makeup look. So my makeup look was more inspired by a daytime look and hers was a nighttime. So if you'd like to check out her channel and her videos, please click on the links down below and subscribe to her. She has really inspired me and motivated me and supported me with my YouTube videos. Absolutely love her. She is so funny and such a beautiful person. You just have to subscribe to her. So if you're interested in how I created this look, please keep watching. So I've just put my L'Oreal Luminosity Code Serum all over my face and let it soak in a little bit. I am absolutely loving it. Yesterday and the day before yesterday, I actually went to work with absolutely no foundation on my face or BB cream. It is the first time in years I've actually stepped out of my house and gone into public with absolutely no BB cream or foundation on my face. So I'm extremely proud of myself and that was all thanks to the L'Oreal Luminosity Code because I'm feeling very comfortable in my skin at the moment. It's really helped to even out my skin tone. So I'm just going to start building my base up with my Garnier BB cream in medium. And I'm just going to start putting this all over my face before I apply my foundation just to start color correcting my skin and really build a flawless base. If you have oily skin, um, a really good primer to use is the Stila One Step Correct. I feel like sometimes BB cream can make your skin a little bit oily. So if you do want to have that flawless base, definitely go for a color correcting primer or one that fights oiliness. So now that I've applied my BB cream, I'm just going to move straight on to my eyebrows and then to my eyes before I apply my foundation. Just because today I think I'm going to be working with some glitters and pigments. So I want to do my eyes first before I put my foundation on. That way I don't mess up my coverage and it's easier to clean up. So I'm just going to fast forward through my eyebrow routine because you guys see it in every single video and it's just not necessary for me to explain. And I always use the same product which is my Face of Australia HD Brow Kit. Now I'm just taking a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me concealer on the back of my hand and just using a concealer brush just to clean up my eyebrows before I apply my Benefit Gimme Brow. So now that I've got nice full brows, I'm going to start building up my eyeshadow. But first starting off with my Bare Minerals Prime Time. I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelids because I am working with pigments. It's a really good base to hold down those pigments and make sure that your colors really, really stand out. Once that primer has set, I'm going to start off by using the first shade here in the Kali Bible palette and just highlighting my brow bone with it. And it's also going to help with blending the crease colors. And then for my crease color, I'm using the third shade here, which is a very neutral brown shade. And I'm just going to lightly build that in my crease. So, so far on YouTube, I've only seen pink sort of inspired Valentine's Day makeup look. So I thought, why not go with the flow and continue with this whole pink theme that's going on. So my pink color for my eyelids will be my Bare Minerals pigment in the shade Honor. And I'm going to play it up a little bit and add Fable in my crease, which is a beautiful brown pigment that's got these blue sparkles in it. And I feel like that's just going to give the look a really unique touch. And I'm also going to somehow hopefully incorporate my Chi Chi Rose Gold glitter because I absolutely love it. And I think this will just change the look a little bit more from what everybody else has been doing. Okay, so starting off with the pigment in Honor, I can't find my flat shader brush so I'm just going to be using this flat definer brush just to apply the pigment all over my eyelids. I feel like this pigment is so perfect for Valentine's Day. It's so 
pink and sparkly and just really, really beautiful. And that's what you want because you want your partner to be staring into your eyes all day and all night. So I've just lightly applied that pigment and I'm going to blend the top bits through just so it looks a bit more neater. And now I'm going to start building up the Fable pigment on the outer corners of my eyes. I'm really, really excited. Hope the camera will pick this up. So I know the camera is not really focusing on the glitter, but you can see there how it's got that blue reflect to it, but it is a brown shadow. It's really, really beautiful. So I'm just going to use the flat definer brush again just to start building up my outer V. And because it is a dark pigment, I am going to use tape for this. So I'm just going to really slightly start building this from the outer corner. And then I'm also going to run that a little bit closer to my lash line down here. So I'm basically creating a C shape here. And I'm going to bring that into my crease line. I'm also going to use my finger just to pack this on still. Just so we can get more of that blue reflect in there. Just because it comes up a lot better when you use your finger. And then blending everything out. Now I'm just going to add a little bit more of that honor shade back onto the center of my eyelids just because we lost a bit of that pigmentation and I really want this to be a prominent color. And while I've got the tape on, I'm going to start doing my eyeliner and for that I'm using my BOE liquid eyeliner and just running it along the tape just to create a really dramatic winged look. So I'm probably going to take it up halfway between the end of my eye and the end of my eyebrow. So I'm going to take it up to about here and that's going to be the end of my wing. Now that the eyeliner is on, I think what I'm going to do is add the glitter eyeliner just on top. I don't know how this is going to work out because I haven't done it before, but fingers crossed. So that's just one layer of the glitter. Of course, if you want it to be more filled in, more intense, you can just let it dry and keep adding more, which is what I'll be doing today. So while I let that eye dry, I'm just gonna get started on the other eye and then it keeps swapping over. I'm also going to add this eyeliner just on the inner corners of my eyes as well. Of course, if you don't want to go super all out during the day on Valentine's Day, you can leave out the glitter. So before I go and do my eyeliner, my bottom eyeliner, mascara and all that, I'm just going to do my foundation and concealer and finish off my base just so I have a base for underneath my eyes. 
So I just went ahead and did my base off of camera just because I want this video to be more focused on the eyes and the base. But if you're interested in what I used, I used my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer underneath my eyes. For my under eye area, I set it with the banana powder from the Astralis Aceon Tour Kit. And oh my god, they have finally brought out a single pan banana powder, which you can find at pretty much everywhere that sold the Aceon Tour Kit. I'm not in too much of a hurry to go and buy it yet just because I have three of these sitting in my makeup storage anyway. So I just used that underneath my eyes. I used that to contour the hell out of my face because on Valentine's Day you're probably going to have lunch or dinner or probably both like me. So you want your face to be as skinny as possible so I just contoured my face like crazy and I use this for my bronzer just around the frame of my face. And for my highlight I used this one from the Balm Voyage palette which is just really really beautiful. And last but not least, for my blush, I use the Too Faced Love Flush Blush Palette. Thank you so much to Ashley who got it for me. You really, really, really shouldn't have. I absolutely love it though. It makes me so excited to do my blush every day. This is what it looks like inside. It's just, look at how beautiful that is. Today I used this orange one here called I Will Always Love You. It comes off really, really neutral on medium skin tones and that's what I want because I really want my eyes to be the focus of this look. So now I'm just going to quickly speed through my mascara and put some false lashes on. So I just did one coat of mascara on my lashes just because I was putting falsies on anyway so I didn't really need them to be full. So I just used my Amazing Shine lashes just to complete the eye look. I did want to use my more natural ones but I couldn't find them and I don't have any spares. So these were the only lashes I had on hand. They are a little bit more dramatic for the daytime but they do complete the look very well. I feel like a more natural lash would have suited this look a lot more for the daytime but this does complete the look nonetheless. So just to finish off the look I'm going to use the Chi Chi lipstick in Sex Bomb, just a really neutral brown shade. I feel like this is a really beautiful nude color if you want to keep the attention on the eyes but do want to have a beautiful lip color I think this is definitely a go-to one. So that is the finished look, just my take on a day appropriate makeup look to wear on Valentine's Day. Something a little bit different, not so much on the pink, but definitely really girly and really sparkly. I absolutely love the way this look turned out and I hope you guys did as well. If you did, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Definitely check out Rosie's channel. I'll leave all the links down below in the description box. Please subscribe to her, she is amazing, she is so funny and so beautiful. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video.